You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. <laughs> It's a tough afternoon for Maryland lacrosse here at the Shell. They fall to Michigan 16 to 11, and the score is probably indicative of the game today. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Bruce, you said you haven't seen this in about 10 years. I don't remember a regular season game where they got beat this bad, maybe against Loyola a few weeks ago, but here, I don't remember. I mean, Hopkins came in here at the end of 19 and beat us, but not like this. You almost had a feel in this game. The Terps weren't in it, and uh, they stuck around, but they, you know, you know, they lost face offs by four, but it felt like they lost it by ten. And Rupel played okay. He must have saved five or six shots that were tough, tough as hell. But we were just beating. They, they figured out. Hey, look, I'm no expert on it. We were talking about it. They pulled, they pulled Baycar and Zap away from the goal and kind of worked underneath, and they couldn't recover weight. Is that what you saw? Ugh. I saw a lot of speed from Michigan. I saw speed moving across the field, and Maryland couldn't catch up. When Maryland tried to double, when the ball went in the alley, Michigan player just spun and delivered a spot-on pass, and boom, there was a goal. So this time, unlike other games, when Maryland tried to adjust, Michigan actually had the counter punch today. It got to, it was 11-9, and I thought, here we go. We got about seven minutes left. Maryland's going to find a way, and then Michigan goes on another one of those mini runs and, and puts it away. And, and the end, the last few minutes were garbage time. You really have to hand it to Michigan. They're on the way to building a program, uh, you know their coach pretty well. What's the Michigan perspective on this? I talked to Kevin after the game, and I congratulated him on a great win. I said, look. Nobody's beating us like this. This is a much more dominant win than Loyola had over us. You know, we outshot them. We did everything except put the ball in the net against them. But today, it was like, wait, did you notice that it seemed like the Terps didn't get a shot off until there was like 15 seconds left? Yeah. They were like, the ball wasn't rotating right. And, you know, Tillman tried to shake the lineup up. You know, moved Kelly to midfield, brought in Owen Murphy. And I don't think Owen Murphy... He scored? I don't even know. I, I think he might have. He, has a, he had a bum ankle. He Mar did. Maryland tried what they had in the bag of tricks. They, they started going down the roster. They moved Spanos in to attack. They had Murphy at attack. Tried to do what they could. But, no, the passes weren't there. What Maryland couldn't do today, uh, we'll talk about after this break. And we'll thank the Jack Litch Law Group and Viner Floorgates. And we'll be back in a moment. The biggest difference in a truck accident versus a car crash is the investigation that the lawyer has to do right from the beginning of the case. Number one is obtaining the log books of the driver to show that the driver was not rested properly according to federal law. Uh, investigating through the black box and getting an expert to figure out from the black box of the truck the speed of the truck, or where the truck had been. Usually you have catastrophic injuries involved with tractor trailers as well. So it's a different ball game. And if people are injured in a truck crash, they really, really need to find a lawyer that knows what he's doing with truck crashes. I wish somebody would have told me, babe. Someday these will be the good old days. All the love you back here, and then we've got to run into the press conference. What Marilyn couldn't do today is create havoc and score on the run. Uh, though Zapatello had a hockey-like goal, the usual Maryland upfield rush with the short uh, shorties on defense, it didn't happen today. Michigan took that away. But on top of losing a game, this one really matters in the long term. Bruce, what do you have on that? Yeah, here's why it really hurts today. I'm gonna give you a, a quick summary. The win over Virginia has been compromised with their two losses now. Losing yesterday, getting beat bad by Duke. 
and they still got to play Duke and Notre Dame. Princeton is barely 500. Richmond is not having a year. I mean, you could go through each one of Maryland's wins, and none of them are significant. All right, and because of that, you have a loss against Michigan, a team that wasn't even in the top 20. It's going to kill your RPI. All right, and Loyola's fell out of the wagon. All right, so where are the where are the wins, Wayne? In other words, you know, you're going to start here. If I had to make a prediction, Maryland, my guess, will fall to 10 or 12 or something like that. And you're going to start here, and they better get to work. All right? They better get to work. There's no mercy from that committee, is it? No. There's not as many spots as you would think, especially if you're the bubble team. Uh, Maryland on the road. It's Ohio State. It's Rutgers. And back here for Hopkins, you got three games left. you got to win two? Got to win two. Be eight and four. I think you're safe. And if you don't, you're going to have to win the tournament. The Big Ten tournament. All right? We're going to have to win the Big Ten tournament. So there's a lot of chances left. But the way they played today, the they just – it just wasn't a barrel of lacrosse across the board. The, the defense, first of all, the face-offs were equal, but it didn't seem that way. Uh, you, brought, you brought that up. There, there were no long-range quality shots for Maryland. That's my takeaway. Everything Maryland got was really in close. There's nobody to Kelly, step back. Kelly, first goal of the game. Shot 20 on the 21-yard line. He delivered. Yeah. That was it for the Terps. You got to do better. You it, have to. You but, have to. But, you know, as you said, and we've said many times, we always have last year, but it's a little early to start saying that. No, 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 no. This year is not over. Like, right now, I feel like, you know, I'm not too happy about this. But, but, a long way to go. A, a lot of games. And this is going to be a really interesting three-game sprint to see if Maryland can make the tournament. We'll go inside and hear what John Tillman has to say. Thanks for watching. This has been the Big Dog Post Game Show. Maryland goes down 16-11 to Michigan. It's not over yet.